Hello, motherfuckers. If you're seeing this video, it is because you decided to take the master class. The master class. This master class is going to be an instead of it's going to be a set of instructions that we can um we can build an amplifier at home or or the garage or wherever you want to. It'll be professionally built by you. You'll feel very proud at the end of the day. You will have an amplifier for one that well obviously it's only going to be built by you. So you're going to be the only one with it. Um, I would like to say this. There is nothing, nothing like something that you have created from your own, from your own beginning to end uh, that you will cherish anymore in this world. That being said, a lot of people are scared to take this plunge. This is, a way that you can take the plunge without feeling so scared. I'm here with you. I'm going to be doing this with you. I'm going to be talking you through this. I'm going to teach you a ton of information throughout this this course. You're going to come out a new person. You're going to have a uh, amplifier that is uh, 100% probably one of the best amplifiers in the universe. You will be super proud uh, to have made such uh, amplifier. Um, we're we're going to be skipping f- ten years of learning, and we're going we're going right to it, right? So that being said, it is very dangerous inside of these amplifiers, and it is not my responsibility if anything happens to you. I will be showing, however the proper ways to uh to do to do each step step by step and if you follow exactly what i do you will never get zapped you will never get hurt and you will you'll be okay but if you choose to veer from my instructions i'm telling you not to do that <laughs> don't do that do not do that triple check what I'm trying to tell you, double check, triple check, and make sure you're doing exactly as I say. We'll be okay. We're going to be 100% okay. We're going to make the coolest thing in the universe a high watt DR-103, heavily modified, in reverse. And at the end of the day, you will be the only one with one. Now, what? yeah, other people get them and build this master class. There's going to be other people with these. But you know what? It's not going to be the same. No two amps are alike. Will it be similar? Sure. But it will have one thing that yours doesn't or yours doesn't. It's because it was built by you. That's the most important thing. That's That's the most important thing. So anyway, what's coming up now is we have a parts list. We're we're gonna need a materials list of tools needed to some some tools needed to build this amplifier. Now everything that I have on my bench, you don't have to you don't have to have. You know, I do highly recommend buying a an electric drill, right? Because I will be using it, and hopefully you have one. But you know, the assortment of everything that I have. You just need the basics. You don't need a hundred screwdrivers like I have. You don't need a hundred different types of pliers that I have. You'd probably be fine with just one pair of pliers, uh, a flat head, a straight head, and some smaller ones, uh, jeweler ones, depending on the parts that you buy. Now, I am not going to be buying the parts for you. You will be going and buying these parts I will show you how in a video, uh, how to do so, but it is up to you to source these parts and to buy these parts. You will have a parts list and you can just type that part in and find out if you want to go expensive, if you want to go middle of the road or you want to go cheap. 
it's up to you how to determine each each part and how to calculate the parts for your own build. And there in itself is going to make your amplifier different from all the other people's amplifiers. Even if 100 people built this amplifier, none of you are going to choose the same components. Again, we are doing it from scratch. And this is something that you will feel very proud of in a safe environment, in a safe way, from a person that knows high watts probably better than anybody in the universe. Why did I choose high watt? Because I don't believe out of all the amps I've ever played, there's anything that, that comes close to the sound of a high watt. You're not going to be getting um, the sound of a high watt from, from Mojo Tone. There's no way. Uh, there's no possible way. Mm-mm. So anyway, here is the the tools needed, and good luck, good luck, and thank you from the bottom of my heart, and be safe. I'm not responsible if anything happens to you. Please follow my instructions to a T. If you do, we're going to come out of this in the end being heroes. If you don't, I don't know what your amp will look like. <laughs> I don't know what it will sound like. Um, if you don't follow these instructions, I have a pretty good idea of what your amp will sound like if you do. Right? And if we have any issues after you put it all together, I'm here and I will technical shoot, troubleshoot your amplifier for you. We will figure it out together. But you won't. We're going to be good. We're going to be okay. That being said, here we go. Okay. These are some of the tools that we're going to need. We're going to need some electrical tape. We're going to need some wire strippers. You have a Harbor Freight. We're going to need utility knife. Some blades. We're going to need a tape measure. Assortment of sockets and ratchets, metric and standard, deep well and regular, super glue, lock tight, a pair of needle nose pliers, small and long, jeweler needle nose pliers with round tips. You can get them at Walmart, anything for jewelers, and then regular small type pliers. We're going to get the ones that have the 90 degree bends if we have to get into a tight spot. And some wire cutters. These are glass wire cutters from um, Hobby Lobby, but they're some of the best. Uh, these are standard wire cutters. And um, some markers um, and highlighters. Pens, markers, it doesn't matter. We're going to need a discharge tool to discharge our high voltage. I made mine, but you can find them online. And you're going to need a lighter for the heat shrink tube. You're going to need safety glasses in case you have to drill anything. And a whole bunch of these little alligator clips. It's very important to have these to test our stages. And if you really want to find, you get just get one of these uh, digital calipers for fine me fine measurement. Phillips said screwdrivers. And little baby uh, glass repair uh, screwdrivers, Phillips head and straight head. We have a pair of vice grip needle nose. 
We have a pair of regular players. We have some. Uh, we have a. Um, we don't need this, but if you wanted it, it just it's good to have. Um, and then we have some straight head and Phillips heads. The last one was the last one before that was just a uh, um, socket screwdriver. Now we have a, a multimeter. It's going to need to measure AC, DC, diodes, and capacitors. It's a voltmeter, and you'll be able to find them online. It has to go up to 600 volts. And we're also going to need a solder station. And 30, uh, 30 thousandths solder. Doesn't matter if you get Kelser or leaded. I think this is uh, 40, 60. So, and you may want to get a drill. You don't need the drill and some latex gloves as well. You don't really need the drill, but, you know, uh, you, you may want it. It may help you in some guitar picks so that when you're ready to rock and roll, we're ready to rock and roll.